It's no secret that hospitality is a really high pressure environment. It's not Visa's job. I think there's more to it than people think. We run on fine margins, so the pressure on labour is always a challenge. Difficult customers, aggressive customers, having to keep people out, customers being inappropriate. Obviously, as soon as you introduce alcohol, that has a whole nother barrage of difficult things that can arise from that. COVID and the open and close of the venues, having to go through the stops and starts and being left without income or not knowing what was going to happen. Having to provide a great level of service when you're short staffed due to illness, due to COVID. Having to then police the patrons with a lot of regulations that were ever changing. The general public initially was really frustrated with things like QR codes and capacity limits. And then the staff were having to uphold that compliance in already a tense environment. You know, I think everyone's mental health has been on a steady decline for the last three years. We started to recognise a lot of stress being shown in the workforce and we have lost a lot of workers out of the hospitality industry. So with a grant from WorkSafe, the Australian Hotels Association Victoria has developed a learning network to address mental health in the workplace. We had consultation with employers and employees and worked out what were the key components creating stress within the hotel industry. As a result of that, we were able to develop policies and tools for the workplace Having those tools and a very simple online platform, everyone is really on board with it. It's great to be a part of projects where they're actively identifying what industry-specific triggers are. It's quite insightful and even looking into mental health as a hazard within your organisation is a slightly different perspective. It gives you the resources to run yourself through the, am I doing this right, can I do this better? to really see if we were doing what we could to prevent mental health hazards. It guides our operating procedures and processes to make sure that we're following good guidelines that give enough help to the staff. Being able to train people in how to cope in some of these situations is a really invaluable tool. The more everybody talks about mental health, the better. Our people are our most important asset and I think having those conversations is really important. When we're running smoothly and our staff are engaged and we have less turnover, it's a much easier business to operate. If we can make our venues safer spaces and better places for our people, I think it will make the industry a lot more attractive for many years to come.